wanted to really discuss today was the um, the way energy unravels your belief systems and your grid systems. And for a lot of you who are not really in tune to kind of like the energy woo-woo pieces, um, everybody kind of has a grid, and that's a certain set of beliefs that you've intertwined together over the years to create what, what it is that you function from, how it is that you think, how it is that you feel, what it is that you believe. Um, a lot of those grids are not yours. They belong to your parents or a colleague or a partner or a friend or whatever. Um, that It's kind of like a spider web if you think about it. You take a belief that somebody else believes, and you're like, oh, yeah, I believe that too, and you weave that into your web. And so you have like this grid is what we call it, or this really big spider web that is woven, a, a set of woven beliefs that really aren't yours. And so what happens is as you move into greater alignment, as you start bringing in things that belong to you versus functioning from other people's beliefs, what happens is you at an energetic soul level, you're going into these grids and you're pulling these strings. And, and as you know, when one string of a spider web is pulled, the whole web gets shaken, right? So the spider knows that there's something in there and you can go over and grab it. The same is kind of uh, the same with energetic grids in that once your belief is pulled, the whole grid gets shaken up. And that process of what we I call is is destruction, right? You're destroying the grid that you've created, which was based out of falsity um, and on, on other people's beliefs and what you um, thought was true. And now, as you're trying to dissemble that belief system, those grids what's happening is that whole entire grid, that way you were thinking, the way you were believing, the way you were in the world, the way you perceive the world, the way you perceive your entire life and all of your relationships and your job and career and who you are in this existence is all affected by that little pull. And so what can happen is, is that little pull, and for some of you, you know, you might be pulling multiple strings. Uh, so for some of you, um, that may be very disruptive because as you start to dismantle this kind of um, spider web grid, it can disrupt your mental uh, body and it can um, disrupt your emotional body. And when that happens, well, there is this feeling of panic, of anxiety, of fear because you consciously are unaware of what is happening. You only know that it's different and it doesn't feel good at that moment uh, because of that destruction, that destructive, I should say, um, not initiation, clearing, recalibration is what I'm looking for, uh, of that recalibration. And then you can go into that panic state and it could really leave you feeling ungrounded, spacey, um, heavy, you know, just a lot of energy that's just sitting there. So it's really important to move into kind of like the stillness, dive really, really deep in. We posted a video about the feels. Um, that would help, but really kind of processing, letting go, removing that resistance, and um, finding a way to be stable, steady, and still through that destructive process so it can actually move through a lot quicker um, and without so much disturbances. Now, for my private clients, we have um, meditations that help with that. Um, they're like, I don't know, five or six minutes, but they initiate 50-minute um, healing sessions to help recalibrate the grids. So as your grids are what we call in shift, right? As you're pulling and reweaving and re-sewing and rebuilding it together, we call that um, they're in flux. The, the grids, the templates, everything that's being uh, destroyed and recreated are kind of like in this flux. And it's this flux stage that 
kind of plays with the mind and the emotions and can leave you really kind of panicky um, and, and, you know, fearful because you don't really know what is going on. And that is that feeling of losing your mind. Um, and especially since you go through a lot of energetic shifts, especially in July and June, there were a lot. And now August, we're moving into eclipse season and mercury retrograde so there's more shift that's coming through for people so it's kind of like how do you get a handle on that shift and you know for a lot of you if you can find that stillness find that awareness uh, do your own energy work if that's what you do that's a great way to go and a great way to um, balance yourselves um, if you are unable to do that and sometimes you know it just gets to be a little bit too much um, for you to manage you know feel free to reach out we have um, sacred container work that helps with that but that is the reason behind that feeling of what it is that's being destroyed and uncreated and then repattern all that grid reflux is what um, what gives you that I'm losing my mind sensation. And so we just wanted to pop in and kind of give you the heads up that believe it or not, even though you're you might be in this like panic state. Hi, me too. Thank you very much. Even though you're in this um, panic state of what the hell is going on, I can't manage it. It's actually exactly what you've been asking for. Like you have this grid of belief that some of it is yours and some of it isn't. And you've been asking to know the truth, know yourself, be more in alignment with who you are. And part of that process is to start pulling those things out of your grids and out of your energy that are not yours and are not in alignment. And that's that disruption. That's that piece that can have you um, feel like you're losing your mind. So for example, if you're running a belief system that your whole family is running, right? And it's a uh, what we call familial or ancestral belief and that you just kind of have it because you're just part of a family and now hi Kadisha Kadisha sorry hi Kadisha um, and, and you're running that pattern as well the same behavioral ancestral pattern and now you're moving into the stage where like you know what I don't want to do that anymore I don't want to run that pattern anymore um, what happens is that's that pulling you start pulling that you've been carrying that for years your whole family is functioning that so that could be like a really disruptive grid shift so just to give you an idea about why you might be feeling like you're losing your mind and if you're not losing your mind yet maybe in August you will <laughs> so you will have to go back and find uh, this video again and uh, listen one more time so ladies I am talking about um, alignment and manifestation help if you need any of that pop in the comments what it is that you're looking for I'm also talking about Money Mystery School. We start Friday. I am so stoked about this. Um, it's really cool. I just got some information while I was at the beach on vacation that Money Mystery School isn't going to be one of those monthly programs. I really thought it was going to be something we could offer once a month. It looks like when I look into the energy, it looks like every three months, every four months. It's going to be one of those things that is going to pop in. Um, a little bit more scheduled three or four times a year uh, the reason being is what I'm hearing is the energy is really intense it's taking people a little longer than two to four weeks to integrate it so we just wanted to pop in and talk about that a little bit until anybody posts the question if you have a question feel free to make a comment we'll tune in we've got some cards lined up here to see uh, what it is we can help you with um, a little I don't know what else to tell you about money mystery school if you've ever worked with me before or you've ever seen a video where we've done healing so like the full moon sessions um, conscious light boosting sessions anytime you've had like a session with us where it's been on a video or we've done it remotely and you know you've come in we said okay meet us back here at seven o'clock and you know all the energy is gonna flow if you've ever done any of that type of work and you've experienced that and it felt um, pretty strong you've definitely felt the shifts around that 
um, I want you to imagine that experience because usually we have a time cap to it. It's usually like 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes. Some of them, I think the lowest one, the littlest one we've done is five minutes. Um, so if you've ever experienced that, imagine like um, our 30 minute moon sessions. Okay, you have that session for 30 minutes. Money Mystery School is very similar to that, except it's not 30 minutes. It is 72 hours non-stop. It is, uh, you know, kind of like the heavy metal of, um, of energy work. And it's the entire focus is alignment and manifestation. And in that process of creating greater alignment and creating money manifestation, which is really about alignment, uh, the more you're in alignment, the more you can manifest, the more you feel good, um, the more that you can create for yourself. So it's 72 hours. It's a lot of shift. And in those 72 hours, there are lessons that are coming in energetically. There are teachings, there are healings, uh, because you, sometimes you have to recalibrate the, um, the energy. So there's healings. It's kind of like 72 hours, your hours for 72 hours. You belong to us. And we have a group where you can, uh, oh, good. We have a group where um, you can talk to us about it and we can help you with your shift. So Kadisha says, I don't know what's going on particularly with me. But I've been off my game for almost two weeks, and it's almost like I don't care to go to work or to get back in a higher vibration. I care, but I'm doing minimum work to get to that higher vibration. I'm also very disoriented, but I'm better. Oh, okay, that was that's me too. Okay, yeah, Kadisha, you might want to go back and <laughs> rewatch this video. We just did the first ten minutes about this whole grid realignment and how that's making people kind of feel like they're losing their mind. For some people, it's what it is, it's it's an unplugging and a reboot is what I'm hearing for you. You're, okay, so hold on, it's the grid re-unplug and reboot, recalibration. Okay, so for you, it's it's kind of like you had like your little grid thing going on, right, whatever that is, and, um, during these last kind of big energetic shifts, it's kind of let me grab a let me grab a visual aid. <laughs> okay, so here's the um, here you're you're plugged in. Okay, hold on this way. Okay, so you're for up until about you know the last two weeks you've been plugged in, plugged in, plugged in, but you've been doing so much work, basically asking to be unplugged that all that work that's been that you've been asking for has been answered. So what's happening is you you've been unplugged, and now when you're out here and you're unplugged, it feels kind of isolated. It feels kind of like where where's everything going on? Just kind of blah. And there's um they're telling me over the last couple of days there's been a void moon so the moon goes into a void area where and that's exactly where it, it's nothing it's just void there is nothing going on and when you're out here you're unplugged and you're in the void it's just kind of like you know that drooly icon the, <laughs> it's kind of like that right no motivation no energy and that's okay because when you're in that unplugged stage you want to be in that sense of just kind of chill just be present breathe be still get grounded because what's happening in that void is you're getting unplugged from whatever it is that you're doing and plugged in and rebooted for the next wave that's coming I hope that was helpful okay um, so the void moon I think it was supposed to last for a couple of days. I know it, I'm hearing one, seven to 10 days, okay? So that's just kind of the reboot, reset, the unplug, reboot, reset, which can leave you feeling like nothing's moving, nothing's happening. Um, you're just kind of in this still place. And they're just showing me like, um, imagine just, lying in the middle of the ocean and just floating for the next couple of seven a uh, couple of days um, the only thing to do to keep in your high vibe is just monitor your thoughts and don't let them take you on the on the 
train to crazy town. Okay. Um,